Instagram and I've got my Traveller's Notebook kit from Studio Calico. This is actually November's kit. Um, it's the beginning of December now but this arrived quite late for me so I've only just got it. Um, I wanted to unbox it. I haven't had a look through this myself yet so I wanted to unbox it on here with you guys so I hope you enjoy. So obviously you get these gorgeous pouches which are just so handy to have aren't they? Just for putting all sorts of craft supplies in. So I'll pull them out. Sorry about the lighting guys. I say it on nearly every video but... I am in the UK, we have absolutely no sunlight at the moment, it's only four o'clock in the afternoon but it's pitch black outside so I'm relying on my ring light which of course makes lots of reflections but there's not much I can do with it about it in winter I'm afraid so we'll just have to crack on. Now what should we do first? Let's do the actual traveller's notebook first I think. So this is gorgeous, I'm loving the brown kind of leaf pattern, I'll just open it up. Okay so there we go. I love that you get this space to write in as well, this is just a standard traveller's notebook size. Um, I used to get uh, Coco Daisy and the only reason I stopped was just because of the, the expense of them. I absolutely love them though. But they've got like a hard, thicker cover. Um, with Studio Calico, all the pages are the same weight, including the cover. I'm not sure if I like that as, as much, I have to say. It feels a bit flimsy when you open it, but it is beautiful. So I'll put up with it because <laughs> it is absolutely beautiful design. It's just, I could do a thicker paper. Um, I'm going to put this one down actually. Probably see it better flat, won't you? There we go. So love that you can get a real mixture of pages as well so you can get loads of journaling in as well as photos you can use them as good background pages like you can kind of do what you like with these love that print i do do quite a lot of journaling so it's handy to have a lot of white space love this but at the same time there's enough kind of pattern there that if i don't fill it it still looks really like really nice i love that absolutely love that see so i could journal on there or i could just leave it like that and it would be fine so it kind of makes it a little bit more flexible but takes the pressure off at the same time love that pattern as well. I'm loving the, all the photos that are appearing in these at the minute. Just gorgeous. And that, you could do all sorts with those boxes, couldn't you? Kind of top five or have even little photos in each one. The story. Love that. I love it's like library and books this month. It's just beautiful. I'm a big bookworm as well, so that's work. that'll work for me. So it's grateful for this and this, but most of all this. Loving this print. You have to let me know what I'm missing out on guys. I've been off YouTube for a while. Is there any anyone new I need to check out? Anyone I need to meet? Any challenges to join in on? I need to get back into my crafty mojo. Loving this book print. Let me see a close up on that one. That is just stunning. Obsessed with that one. That's my favourite already. Book club membership with bookworms. Home is where my favourite mug is. Love that. There we go. And how's 2020 been for everybody? I think I know the answer to that but you can still let me know in the comments. I hope you're all doing okay. hope lockdown hasn't been too horrendous for everybody. That's nice. I hope everybody's family and friends are all well. It's just been an awful year hasn't it? It doesn't even matter where you are in the world. I think everywhere has been just horrendous. So I hope you're all doing well. I am obsessed with this. Obsessed. I've just gone through and done, you might have seen my previous video, is the uh, Project Life kit unboxing and they've got a small card of this and it's just amazing absolutely amazing love it love it love it love it don't even want to put anything on it just <laughs> love that as it is um some plain ones and that's that for the back of that so that's the actual traveler's notebook and then you also get these are cute let me see if i can open them up okay how cute are these i like little flags but with all different phrases and things on they're not double-sided no but they're super super cute all the different colors loads and loads of different quotes and phrases Spread sunshine, November, you are everything, good things on the horizon, simply magical, good stuff, be the rainbow, all sorts of things. The rainbow one is quite apt for this year, um, if you're in the UK at least, I don't know. I've got a few people who watch in America, I don't know what it's like over there, but in the UK we've had lots of rainbows through lockdown. Um, kids have been painting rainbows in the window and all sorts of things just to cheer the place up, but rainbows kind of come become a bit of a symbol of 2020. But they are really, really cool, loving those. So... I'm not going to be able to put them down in a nice neat way, am I? <laughs> Obviously not on camera. So that's them. And then we've also got a stamp set. This is super cute. Just look at that bear. How stinking cute is he? Be a seeker of everyday magic, it says there. Adventure is just a page away. Love, love, love this. And I love these where you get like an infill, um, like a, a block of colour, and then you can do a little stamp over the top to infill it. And that heart is just amazing. So, so cute. Can't wait to use those. And then we've got some... Kylie in Kentucky stickers. These ones we do get in the um, Project Life kit as well. So I'm glad I've got two sets because I will use these. Sometimes with these kind of puffy thick ones, I don't like um, 
thickening up my journals but I'm this set I'm just need to use them all I mean look how cute the pumpkin is and the books hearts they're just amazing that bear again so they're all going to be gone definitely definitely going to be gone and then we've got oh these are funky they like hearts but they're like um book paper so they're really cool and then the alphabet is like a mint green colour this month. Can you just about see it there? And there's two sheets in there with all your letters on. I'll put that down there. And then we've got two rolls of washi tape this month. Oh, oh, I'm loving the silver. That's I'm gonna have to carry that through and use it in November, in December as well for my uh, Christmas spreads. So That's very festive, isn't it? I'm just trying to find the end of it. Find the end of it, and then I can peel a bit off. Look at that. That's awesome. So definitely gonna have to use that in some Christmas spreads, I think. And then this one. Oh, I love this. Let me just open it. So we've got this like pink spotty one. Now I've got a toddler who's two um, and she's, at, like I've got loads of spreads of her in her pink and girly clothes. So this will be perfect for those type of spreads. But also it's a little bit like paint splatters and she does a lot of painting and arty things. So I think that is going to get used quite a lot as well. So plenty to play with there. I'm going to have to go and start creating with it all, I think. And hope you enjoyed the video. I'll see you next time, guys. Bye.